We're joined with Patrick L. Fisher here at the National Wool Museum and of course again we have the wonderful Scarf Festival. Can you tell us this year's theme and how it's all gone? Uh -huh. Well this year's theme is coastlines and um, it has gone really spectacularly for us. Uh, we have 449 scarves from across Australia and two other continents so we're really very happy about that mm -hmm. um, and people seem to have really embraced uh, the whole concept of, of uh, Scar Festival in general, but also coastlines, uh, because uh, I think it's just very Australian. Mm -hmm. I think since something like 50% of people around the world live within 50 kilometers of the coast, mm -hmm. it's something that people really um, hold near and dear to their heart. Now, as you're saying, there are more scarves here than ever before, so the interest is growing. So how many years has the Scarf Festival been running in the National Wool Museum? The uh, Scarf Festival's been at the National Wool Museum since 2009, um, and it's, uh, it's 12 years old, but it's been here since 2009. started with Craft Victoria in Melbourne. So I can see looking around there are sections from primary students, secondary students, and not just your normal knitted scarf as always, there's a lot of different categories as well. Oh absolutely, there's a lot more, as you can see from all the scarves around us, there's a lot more than just knitted scarves here. Um, there's, there's knitting, there's felting, there's crochet, there's um, uh, painted silk scarves, there are scarves made from old fishing line and even one made from cigarette butts. One of the interesting things about Scar Festival is all the different categories have both first place winners and highly commended. This highly commended scarf by Donna and Colin Barrett uh, features items that they found while walking along the beach. These Ocean Grove residents found these and then decided to turn them into a scarf, making a bit of a political statement about the environment and our coastlines. Goodness. Well, yeah. that's true about the coastline too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, some of the scarves are just um, uh, beautiful works of art and uh, great pieces of handcraft, and others uh, make very uh, strong political statements about um, anything from asylum seekers and um, our borders to environmental issues. Fantastic. Now, there is a little bit of a difference this year with, uh, of course, people coming to the Wool Museum can have their choice of their favourite scarf. But at the end of the festival in August, uh, you will also be doing what for the public? Oh, well, on the last day of the of Scarf Festival, um, we will be having an afternoon tea um, where we will be announcing uh, not only the winner of People's Choice, uh, but also the theme for next year's Scarf Festival as well. So that's a bit new for us. Fantastic. Well, uh, I think if it keeps growing, you're going to need a new space. I think so. We're, uh, we'll probably look at doing some new things in the future with Scarf Festival. Um, what those are, I'm not really quite sure yet, but we will be looking at some new things uh, because if we have 550 scarves next year, I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it all. Mm. All right. Well, thank you for your time today. And the exhibition is running until? The 6th of August. So we hope everybody can come down to the National Wool Museum 2015 Scarf Festival. I'm Meryl Friend for News Geelong.